Hello, and very happy to see you on my channel. This morning, we give you a piece of breaking news. Megan received backlash for conspiracy to become U.S. president. Yesterday, Megan has received a lot of backlash about how she might run for U.S. president in the future. In a controversial discussion, according to royal commentator Beverly Turner, Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle is said to be planning on running for the position of U.S. president as she sets her sights on the White House. Beverly Turner claimed to Channel 5's Jeremy Vine she has it on good authority the Duchess of Sussex is eyeing the White House. But her partner, Miss Christina Lundy, mocked, Megan has good experience in separations, conflicts, creating not solving, overspending, lying, deceiving, inappropriate use of public money, excessive acting, and hand gestures during speeches. However, what comes out of her mouth is not useful. She can't keep a crowd interested in the world a salad jumble. Me, me, or I. I talking. She continues, Most importantly, she has no political education. She was a bad actress who got the lucky meeting and marrying a prince, and because of that, she believes that all doors will be open for her. No matter where she wants to enter, it doesn't work like that. She might get elected, not for president, but for some political position, by the half-brained Sussex squad members if there are as many, but never to be the President of the United States, insane even to consider. Meanwhile, Miss Beverly Turner said she could not provide any time scale on Megan's apparent plans for the role of President, which is currently held by Donald Trump. Miss Turner said she will run for President. I have no doubt about it. I have no doubt. I think this is all part of the plan. It may not be very soon, but it will be. Ms. Lundy continues, if she thinks she's going to be incongruous here, she may actually make it if she runs in the right area, but it won't be what she thinks it will be. Politics would chew her up and spit her out. Even with her toughest nails methodology, she just doesn't have the chops, education, or experience to make it as a politician long term. And even if she manages to get in the game with the right backing, she would never make it high enough to satisfy her ambition. Mr. Vine replied on the show, That is the first time I have ever heard anyone say that. In response, Ms. Returner replied, I have it on fairly good authority that she would like to run for president. There may be worse presidents. I would like to see a mixed-race woman in the White House. I would. But a viewer also mocked, This is funny. How can Americans elect someone who can't speak to their father? If you can't resolve family disputes... Can you imagine trying to resolve the conflict between Russia and Ukraine? Plus, Megan is unlikely to become president, since she was shown how incompetent she is by not even signing the necessary paperwork for the Archwell Foundation. I reckon she would stuff up signing the necessary paperwork that you need to do so, so you can stand for the president. Meanwhile, sad for just Harry. He's known in America as Harry. Stop taking advice from courtiers, aides, and family members long ago. The royals work so well together, coordinating events, news releases, tours, and parties by working with one another's teams. But Meghan decided to keep her own American public relations team to keep her image looking great. But her PR team didn't understand British culture, and more importantly, how the British family works as a business. So they were a hindrance more than a help. Meghan should have gone with her husband's team of Brits, but when Meghan's popularity became sagging, she doubled down and hired more Americans to help revive her spoiled and tarnished image. Sunshine Sachs, anyone? Yes, Meghan hired them, using Prince Charles' money. She has been using the same firm that represented the devious six fiend, Harvey Weinstein. Sunshine are heavy hitters, and Meghan thought she knew what she was doing by hiring them, along with two other PR teams to polish her image and make her look terrific. Big mistake. What Americans did not understand is how grievous a mistake Megan committed by using Americans to help her gain back her lost popularity. Three PR teams? That's a lot of money and time spent on Megan's behalf. That's a lot of people trying to make her look good. If Megan were doing well and being nice, heeding the advice of the people in her newly adopted country, she would have never needed an American PR team. But we know now Megan never wanted to be a good royal. So while the British saw her obnoxious behavior that bordered on rude and mean, Rachel Megan hoped to keep Americans in the dark. Bad news travels fast, and we read of her misdeeds. Sunshine didn't do that great of a job, because people know Megan loves herself most and wants the best for her. 
This means Megid cannot control her narrative. Sure, some still buy into how great of a duchess she was, but most people see that she lied to get a big royal wedding, spent insane amounts of money, never wearing the same clothes twice in her first year of wedded bliss. Most saw through the three PR firms who had to continually scrub negative comments off her and Harry's social media account. Sunshine couldn't make a bully and liar look kind and honest. The royal family backed away from Meghan when they realized she had never meant to play within the bounds of the rules and keep the monarchy looking good. Meghan didn't give a damn about the monarchy. Meghan didn't give a damn about any member of the royal family, so why would she ever listen to their advice? Meghan wanted global fame and billions. She still wants that. Had Meghan taken the counsel of the courtiers or the solicitors or even Queen Elizabeth or Prince Charles, she would have never spent tens of thousands trademarking Sussex royal items. As of April 1st, 2020, Buckingham Palace made it incredibly clear they would never comment on Harry or Meghan. Not. Meghan and Harry are on their own. Why would the royals wish to speak to them now? Honestly, the reason why Meghan could not be in the, in, on the discussions about her future once she fled to Canada was because Meghan could tape the conversations and use them for whatever possibly nefarious dealings she might have conducted later on. From what I've heard, no royal is communicating with the couple. The royals, the ones in the UK, have been told that recordings and videos could be used against them. Meghan is known for her past dealings and they do not trust her. Don't believe the PR stories being pushed in the American press of the cuddly, homey calls to the Queen or to Prince William because those calls aren't taking place. No visits, no communication, and no advice. The courtiers would be the ones handling the finances with the acquiescence of Prince Charles. But Meghan, who uses people and then discards them, could distort texts, phone chats, or video chats, so no communicating is the new normal. Harry gave up all of his team. He has no advisors in the UK any longer. He must rely on his own console. Though it appears that Harry does Meghan's bidding. She guides Harry now. He has fully surrendered to her vision, her ideas, and in her advice. They both seem to be floundering and can use good counsel right now. It comes after Meghan raised eyebrows with her speech during Girls Up Woman in Leadership event. In the days leading up to Meghan Markle making her Girl Up Leadership Summit speech, Social media was ablaze with anticipation. Even the media, which bizarrely referred to this as Meghan's first public appearance, as if she was still a working royal, seemed to be waiting with batted breath. Reporter Aubrey Hansen continues, And before you all hit send on that hate phone email, I don't mean that as a slight on that girl. Not at all. It's just that charisma and the ability to captivate the audience isn't something you can buy. A new hairstyle, a change in wardrobe, or even marrying a prince doesn't make you something you're not. Hollywood knows this. Those Meghan Markle fans who are scratching their heads, wondering why their idol isn't penciled into co-star with Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie, need to realize that Meghan isn't on that level. And just as she was an average actress, she's also an average public speaker. Let's have a look at what Meghan Markle had to say. She said, I want to share something with you. It's that those in the halls and corridors and places of power, from lawmakers and world leaders to executives, all of those people, they depend on you more than you will ever depend on them. And here's the thing, they know this. Now, I don't know who she's hired for a speechwriter, but whoever it is, they're painfully average. Don't get me wrong, her speech wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. It was just a whole bunch of buzzwords such as racial justice, equitable humanity, and a mental health all cobbled up together to form a largely forgettable by the number performance. Much like your time on Suits, if I'm honest, it's all been a bit of an anticlimax, hasn't it? Amid the story about Prince Harry and walking away from his family, his supposed feud with his brother, and the role Meghan Markle played in all of this, it was easy to forget that the Duchess of Sussex is really nothing special as far as her public persona is concerned. Now that the time for hype and gossip is almost at an end and Meghan has to actually deliver, we're being reminded why she never cracked Hollywood. All of the talk about earning millions of dollars in huge blockbuster movies, taking on established fashion and lifestyle brands, and even whispers of political runs towards the presidency has built the hype train into a full-on Japanese-style bullet train for the ages. 
Sadly, at some point, Meghan Markle had to deliver, and the truth is, she can't. Not to the level expected, anyways. She'll do okay, of course, just as she did okay in her acting career, but it doesn't look like the royal family is missing out on much with her leaving. Much ado about nothing. In all honesty, the queen can relax for now and have a cup of tea. Do you agree with this opinion? Please let me know in the comment section below and we'll discuss them together. Remember to like and share my video for anyone you think has also loved it. And subscribe to version 2 of the Sussex Daily News channel to get more news from the royal family. Now, goodbye and see you in the next videos. Bye.